there are six people in a party, then there are always three of them, so that any, every two know each other or no two know each other. That is a special case of a famous theorem in combinatorics. Is that clear? Did I express myself clearly? Suppose you have six people at a party, then there are always three of them, so that either every two know each other or no two know each other. You can also imagine the six people as six points and look at all the possible lines connecting the pairs of points. Connecting all the pairs of points gives you 15 lines. Now suppose you color each of these lines in an arbitrary way with two colors, say red and blue. By the time you've finished coloring all the lines between the six points, either red or blue, you end up with at least one red triangle or with one blue triangle. There are 32,768 ways to color the 15 lines between six points, red or blue. That can take a long time. An easier way to show that Ramsey theory is true uses a mathematical proof that reduces the number of lines you have to draw. Start with six points and label them A through F. From any one point, there are only five lines extending to the other points. If the lines can only be red or blue, no matter how hard you try to avoid it, at least three of them must be the same, either red or blue. Now that we know that at least three lines will always be the same color, we can work with just those three lines. Now try to connect up points C and D, D and E, or C and E. If you use a blue line between any of these, you will create a blue triangle. To avoid using any blue lines, all three of these lines must be red, but that gives you a red triangle. No matter how hard you try, you cannot avoid ending up with either a red triangle or a blue triangle. And that is the mathematical proof that if you are trying to connect six points with red and blue lines, you will always get at least a red or a blue triangle. Now you can ask, how many people do you need at a party that there should be four such people? The answer is 18. It's not quite so simple anymore. Now, how many people do you need to have five such people? Well, nobody knows. It's between 50, 41 and 55. You can ask, how is it possible that we don't know it? We have these powerful computers, but they're not good enough. To join four points, all connected with lines of the same color, makes the problem a bit more complex. How many points do you need to be sure that you can always find four points, all connected by lines of the same color? The number of lines you have to draw to find the answer is 153, and the number of ways to color these lines, either red or blue, is 2 to the 153rd power, or 10 to the 46th power. The mathematical proof gives us the answer that you need at least 18 points to always be sure of having either a red or a blue figure joined by lines to all four points. There is as yet no answer for five points. The number is between 43 and 55. There are 10 to the 447th power ways to color all of the lines connecting 54 points. Suppose an evil spirit would tell mankind, either you tell me the answer for five people or I will exterminate the human race. I said as a joke, it would be best in this case to try to compute it, either by, both by mathematics and with a computer. If you would ask for six, how many do you need for six people, the best thing would be to destroy him before he destroys us, because we couldn't do it for six people. Now, if you would be so clever that we would have a mathematical proof, you could just tell the evil spirit to go to hell. 